so I'm making this video. If you guys used the seven loader program to, uh, are you, if you want to say hack Windows 7 to get it for free. And I don't know why it only does it on laptop hard drives because on desktop hard drives it seems to do, it doesn't seem to do this. So, alright, so here's my working hard drive. Um, and here's a hard drive that me and a friend put Windows 7 on to test just to see what it would do. Um, so this is the Seagate 80 gigabyte hard drive. Um, we thought it was blown because as soon as we it restarted, it, the computer just kept restarting. Now I'm going to show you what it does um, to the computer if the hard drive hasn't been blown again because of some reason. And then I got me my new cord here. He trained it so it doesn't tear that off. Alright, so let's start the computer and just see what it does. Now this is with the Windows 7 loader program on it. taking a minute to do the bios over here just watch what happens this is with the seven loader program on the hard disk itself here's what it's going to do if it does it see how it just keeps on watch it can keep doing that forever now what you have to do is press F8 as the computer starting and here's this menu and then go to Windows 7 without loader. If you've done this to your laptop and this has done it, your hard drive is not blown. And click that, and it's going to take a little bit longer to start Windows than it usually does. Um, but this will be all fixed as soon as that loader program's off. Um, and I'm going to show you guys how to do that. If I even have loader on here, I think I have to go get the external hard drive. Alright, so it's going to start up perfectly fine, like it would without the loader program. Alright, and let me go get um, an external hard drive so that we can change it up. Alright, so it's loaded up the startup screen, and I got the external hard drive hooked up. And the only reason why I have my external hard drive hooked up is because that's where the uh, 7 loader program started. So, and again, you guys saw my hard drive earlier. Here it is, it's a Toshiba, 120 gig at uh, 7200 RPM. Um, okay, so it's loaded up and most of my uh, programs are gone because we uh, had to put programs back on here. But this is a perfectly good hard drive, like after we thought it blew. I don't like the screen resolution because I'm used to having it as full resolution. So everything's starting up. So. Here's what you need to do to fix this. You need to uh, go to your start menu and just type in wherever you. Alright, that's telling me about my hard drive here. Um, just search uh, wherever you have that 7 loader program on here. And if you have it saved in your computer, just type in 7 loader and it should be able to find it. But in my case, I have it saved in an external hard drive. So once I get that. Um, just go to my book E up here and I have it conveniently saved in a program called Windows 7 click on 64-bit or 32-bit uh, since they're all the same but it depends on how you have it up 7 loader program right here um, run it I clicked run right my uh, wireless card is not working Alright, so it should be running. Right, that thing tell me. My little thing on the bottom of my thing right there on my camera. But alright, once seven loader runs, um here's what you're gonna do. If you click install slash remove seven loader, just click on your brand name, your computer. You can make it any brand name you want. Click on it, and then it says install information installed. That's all you need to do and come down here to install remove click it and it removes it, it's going to shut down the computer and let's see if it's fixed it but that, I don't know what it does, it, there, it saved it, I installed it on desktops and it works just fine it seems to just crash laptops for some reason 
Alright, so let's see if it boots up correctly this time. There we go. And if it comes up, there we go. It's fixed. Take off that 7 loader and you're fine. Um, just make sure you have a brand name computer on there and that it's fake activated. And if you guys have any problems with this, I'll try to help you out. And now I'm going to switch back to my other hard drive so I can get this edited for you guys and up to you.